All right, guys, welcome back to another Madden Academy video. So in the last video, we saw Trick through an interception trying to chew the right here, trying to chew clock uh, down bef before half. Now Buffalo has an incredible opportunity to score and then score again because they do get the ball after halftime. So let's see how Trick manages this if if we're buffalo here we're going to want to be aggressive we're not going to be overly aggressive obviously never want to be overly aggressive but we're going to want to be aggressive here we're not going to want to like worry about the clock we have three timeouts we can play our regular offense here and trick has basically just handed us a situation in which we're able to easily approach it just normally so you're going to go ahead and throw that <clears throat> That tight end streak right there, high ball. It's not gonna work, it's not gonna pan out because it gets broken up, but that's okay. Second and 10, let's see how Buffalo approaches this. Let's see how Trick approaches it. Uh, I love the fact that Trick was playing in his aggressive normal defense. And um, let's actually go over what that is right here. That's, that's his normal defense. Uh, actually, no, he just made an adjustment. He's going to be playing. So before last play, he had this guy up here and then this vert hook over here. And then he was just going to cover the middle of the field with the user. That's his normal defense. But now I, I guess he's going to bail up, up the field as the user and play that. Uh, and then just kind of hope the, the pressure comes in. I don't know why he's doing this though, I, because this guy could just throw the throw the streak kind of early. Let's see, let's see how it goes. Let's see what he does. Maybe he'll make it a. That's a very interesting defensive. I mean, he had he gave the guy a touchdown. I don't understand that defense at all. He gave that guy a naked touchdown. If he saw it, <coughs> he just lob it up there. Touchdown. That's tough. That's tough. He's going to zone out all of his linebackers, then switch the play. He's going to back up his safeties because he wants to come out in the too high look. Oh, now he's going to come out in man because that's best against the run. So he's kind of convinced this guy is going to run here. He's trying to – why he's doing that is because he's convinced he's going to run. He's going to try to call a timeout, get the ball back, try to score, maybe get a field goal before half. Kind of salvage some of his situation. Obviously, this guy comes out in a pass. Very smart of this guy to throw it to the running back. Of course, he's going to call a timeout there. He might be in field goal range here. It's probably the best idea to, to take the field goal if you are in field goal range. He might not actually. 44 plus, what is it, like 17? That's that's probably like a 61 yarder. I don't know. Harrison Butker might not have that, depending on where the wind's at. But he is actually going to be aggressive here and try to go for this first down. He is going to go for a touchdown. Um, maybe the kicker just doesn't have the leg because to be honest taking your three here is probably the smart thing if you have the the uh space to do so okay so here this is a really cool concept guys let's go over this trick over here has a double mabel which means he's gonna have a hard flat there he's gonna have a flat here playing over top so he's gonna be playing like here and then the hard flat's gonna be playing like here and then um He's got this guy on a bluff blitz, so that guy's going to be playing here. And then he's got this guy, obviously, right there on a um, inside quarter, so that's going to take away that streak. So the only way this would get open is if he kind of, like, ran a route like that. That cloud flat's going to take away anything like that. And then, you know, this concept is going to be taken away and then him as the user he's just going to be looking kind of <clears throat> that's just gives him a good opportunity as the user to look over the middle early and then kind of over here as it develops so that's what we're looking at right there with that defense And that's an absolute laser, guys. Between the vert hook and between the double Mabel. Oof, that's tough, man. It's harder to play. It's hard to play better defense than that. I mean, you got you gotta have the 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 flat defender drop it a little lower than that, I guess. But that 
that vert hook should be playing that low key and trick kind of just gets towed there by the madden computer not doing he's got a he's got a he's got a mabel over there on the left and a mabel over there on the right he's gonna just cover the middle of the field here it's great defense but there's nothing here for jot for for the um to spy the quarterback so you know big big decisions are on the way here if you get tackled inbounds you got to call a timeout and take a field goal if you take too long to throw the ball here you just got to take a field goal so this has got to be a quick read from the buffalo bills player and if it's not then you basically have to take three points here you last thing you want to do here is throw an interception And that's just, you're going to take three there. So you just take three here. Yeah. So we'll let it play out. But guys, that's basically going to be it. That's how you play end of half, you know, 30 seconds, three timeouts, good offense. That's how you do that, guys. We've been highlighting the Bills in the last two videos because, you know, he's been playing really well. So hopefully Trick can make this. Can, can turn the tide in the second half because obviously we want to root for our guys here at the Madden Academy trick. We would love for you to win this game. So we're rooting for you. But that being said, guys, I'm going to get up out of here. That's going to do it for today. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.